All right, let's take a look at 4.6. More shopping for cats and dogs. So, uh, Clarita is upset with Carlos because he's been buying cat and dog food without recording the price of each type of food in their accounting records. Instead, Carlos has just recorded the total price of each purchase, even though the total cost includes more than one type of food. Carlos is now trying to figure out the price of each type of food by reviewing some recent purchases. See if you can help him figure out the cost of the particular items for each purchase and be prepared to explain your reasoning. Okay, so let's take a look at these first ones. And if you're doing this at home, try it on your own first. Pause it and try it. So let's take a look at the first group. So we've got these two from the same store. We've got uh, two cat foods, three dogs for 28, two cats and five dogs for 40. So what we can do is look at this and realize, okay, those two cat foods and three dog foods, okay, those five could be represented by that 28. So the two here would be the difference of the total of 40 minus the 28, which would give us 12. So, and we split it in half, we'd get the dog food would then equal $6. Okay, which if that's the case, then looking back at this, if each of these are six, that would give us 18. So 28 minus 18 would give us 10. So the cat food would be split in half and that would equal $5 a piece. All right, and if you wanted to, you could double check it. This would be 10, it would be 30, 10 and 30 would be 40. All right, let's try that same idea on number two. So now we've got three cats, three cats, and four dog foods. Okay, so again, that amount with the difference of two would be represented in this difference of cost, which would be $11. So divide that by two, we'd get $5.50 per dog food bag. Then, you know, $5.50 and $5.50 be what 11 and 11 so 22 so subtract 22 from that we get 21 so the cat food divided by 3 would give us seven dollars per cat food and we can see that we can kind of use that idea of using some that we have finding their differences and eliminate pieces okay let's see if we can do it here now Okay, so in this one, we take this and this, that only gets rid of one each, right? But what if we were to double that amount? Okay, so for another $10, that would allow us to get rid of those two, and that total would be $20, which we could subtract. So if we double this amount to two and two, which would be 20, then we could eliminate all those, and we find the difference is six again. So dog food is $6, which if that's the case, then cat food would have to be $4 because 10 minus six would give us four. All right, so kind of a tricky one, but when you think about that doubling aspect, you can make it work. So finally, Carlos couldn't find the receipts, but he remembered this purchase of food. One week, Carlos bought two bags of Brutus Bites and three bags of Lucky licks for $42.50. The next week he bought five bags of Brutus Bites and six bags of Lucky Licks for $94.25. Okay, so two of Brutus Bites and three of Lucky Licks for $42.50. Then five Brutus Bites, six Lucky Licks for $94.25. Okay, well, thinking about that same doubling aspect, we could double that, right? But we double the whole amount. So 42.50 and 42.50 would give us 85. Then those would be eliminated when we find that difference, right? 94, 25 minus 85 would give us 925. And we'd only have one bag of Brutus Bites. So the Brutus Bites or 925. Then we could, you know, take this first idea and double it. So 925 doubled is 1850. 
subtract that from 4250. That would give us 24 for the three lucky licks. So each one would equal $8. Okay? So how would you explain this? Well, if you think about it, we're kind of finding the difference. We're eliminating at least one complete so that we can have, right? We eliminated all the cat food, leftovers from dog food. Eliminated all the cat food. All the cat food. And in this one, eliminated all of one piece to find uh, the remainder, okay? So we're kind of eliminating one of our variables, in essence, so that we can uh, manage it. Okay? So something like that. There we go.